Mitchell. Jones at the other end. He's fouled by Elijah Juwan just smiling down there. I'm glad fans had a chance to see him on that little interview. He speaks with an English accent. Hey, come down today. The bench of Houston has really delivered today, hasn't it? Anders is one of those. Guy Lewis just grabbing that towel over there. He's so nervous. It'll be the first time he's ever been in the Final Four. Despite all of those wins, 500. Well, the 500 wins is the coach. There it goes again. A little tired with that shot. Here we have seconds left to go. 90-81. Gary went. Louisville had 40-some seconds to go. They had Rodney McCray on the line. Had a chance to cut it to four and then commit five. So that's going to be a two-shot. Chris West is the guy that commits the foul. They sent him in just to commit the foul. There wasn't in any foul difficulty, obviously. And Anders will go to the line. Now Wagner will come back in, as will Scooter McRae. Try to get a shot up. They had Robbie Valentine in the ball game also to commit the foul. And the first time they came in the ball game, they didn't get the foul quickly enough. This would be the 26th win in a row for this Houston team. Their school record, interestingly enough, is 31. Anders with 12 points, and they've all been spectacular.
was mad at that turnover, but that towel just slipped out of my hand. The technical was deserved, but I sure didn't mean to throw it at that guy. And there's the end of the game when that victory towel goes high in the air. Well, it was a great win for us, and my God, we got to now get ready for a Super North Carolina State team that's just been playing really great. Congratulations. And now let's go over to some of the Houston players, Gary Bender and Billy Packer. Gary. Akeem Abdul Elijah and Clyde Drexler. Akeem, he had 21 points, 19 rebounds, and seven block shots. Outstanding. Oh, thanks a lot. You know, this was a very tough game, and I'm glad we won it. Do you realize in four years what you've done to the game of basketball? I mean, uh, I, I, I've made a lot of improvement, and I'm very, very happy about it. This game, you were down by five and a half. What did Coach Guy Lewis tell you? I mean, it, it tell us uh, we, we shouldn't give up. We don't. We just got to keep playing. That we can win it, and we won it. Were you getting tired out there today? No, because we were down by five points, so I was fired up to play. So we, we came back on be ahead. Okay, Billy. Clyde, the last time coming down the court with two seconds to go, what a very important basket. You think Young didn't see you coming out of the side? No, I don't think he did. <laughs> I know you're kidding. I want to ask you a couple of things. Coach mentioned that at halftime, you fellas changed from the zone to man to man. And I really thought that brought you fellas out. Made you much more aggressive. Got this guy in a rebounding position. Really turned the game around. Well, well he does that. He makes the great moves at the right time. And the man to man really got everyone involved in the defense. And it just worked out just fine. And Larry's case, he went out on foul. Uh, all of you guys are underclassmen. A lot of people don't realize what a young ball club you have. He's being the only senior. Was there any extra dedication on his part there? Well, we wanted Larry to play another game. We really did. Because he, he's a senior. This would have been his last game. So we really wanted to give him another shot in. How about in the case of Louisville, the type of team that they were for you to play against? Here you see some of the plays coming right up here. This was the one where you went in, looked like you were going to jam it with the right hand, pulled it back down, double pumped it, and put it in with two. Well, I just wanted to move that I worked on. Yeah, I, I, you know, you guys had 13 dunks today. I don't know if you realize that. Pretty good high percent. 13. That's it? I think that's great. Louisville <laughs> uh, can't join our fraternity. They can, huh? Hey, Clyde, how's the two? The two is better than ever now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back now to Brett Musburger. All right, Gary. Thank you. I got well, you and Billy we're showing that picture. The man next to me, Jim Valvano, says those slams should count one point and Derek Wittenberg should count three. Back to talk with Coach Valvano on CBS in just a moment.